Hey there, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend Maria Rose. Today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite things to get at Costco as a vegan, some vegan essentials from Costco and whatnot. I just got back from grocery shopping on a Sunday. I don't know why the hell I did that, but I guess I was just feeling feisty, I don't know. <laughs> Normally I try to wait till it's like a Wednesday. A little bit more calm, but I made it out alive. I can't believe it. So first up, one of my favorite things to get from there are mushrooms. They seem to last a long time, and I love using mushrooms in replacement for like the chewiness of meat in a recipe. Mushrooms have a really good umami savory flavor. So I cook with mushrooms all the time and this was about six bucks. The next essential item I love getting from Costco are these organic tomatoes. I use canned tomatoes in everything. I make chilies, I make curries, soups, I make pastas. I use probably almost a can a day. <laughs> and these are great because they are BPA lined free and organic. These were $6.59 for eight cans. Every time I go to Costco, I always make sure to get some frozen berries. I love these wild blueberries. These were $9.99 for four pounds. Were the best price for the amount that you got. So I love getting these, using them in smoothies, in pancakes, waffles, muffins. I always try to have frozen berries on hands, at least for my morning smoothies. That's always an essential. And I got this pineapple because it was only $2.69, which was crazy. I love putting pineapple in smoothies. It makes them so sweet and so delicious. So you can pile in, oh, there's my kitty. <laughs> kitty, she's been so vocal lately. Yeah, I know. So I love to pile in a ton and ton of greens in my smoothie and the pineapple totally covers it up. So what I'll do is I'll wait for it to ripen and then I will dice it up and freeze it so it never goes bad. Love having these on hand. Such a great price for organic oats. Yeah, these are only $7.50 for five pounds. <laughs> they are glyphosate free, which I really love because oats are one of the biggest crops that Roundup is sprayed on. I, you know, use this for oatmeal in the morning or I will make um, date balls, date energy balls. I always have oats on hand and I always get them when I go to Costco. We are a peanut butter and jelly everyday household. So every time I go to Costco, I have to get some peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I know that's like a super American thing. We always have to have peanut butter on hand. The peanut butter was $10 for two, so about $5 each. It's organic peanut butter, no palm oil. And the jelly was $8. This is about two pounds worth of jelly. This will last us maybe about two, three weeks. And I love the ingredients in this. It's just dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. It's so simple. A lot of peanut butters have palm oil in them. You know, that's destroying like orangutan habitat. So there you go. And it's springtime. So they had asparagus there. So I had to get asparagus. I love asparagus. It's so nice to just like it for a quick sheet pan dinner. You can put it on a sheet pan, with drizzle it with a little olive oil, garlic powder, salt, roast it at 400 degrees in your air fryer or oven for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And you've got yourself a really nice side dish for your dinner. And it was only $7, so it's 2.25 pounds. I always love to have big bunches of salad on hand, a bunch of greens on hand. I put it in my salads, obviously. Burgers, sometimes I won't even use a bun for a burger and I'll just use romaine lettuce leaves to wrap it in. I also love dipping just romaine leaves in hummus. It's, and it's a nice crunchy snack to have in the afternoon. So that's how I like to use all of this lettuce. That was $4.39 for six hearts of romaine. Normally that's what I get in my Kroger for just two hearts of romaine. That's such a good deal. And I was really excited to see that these chocolate chips were back. They didn't have them for a while. And then they brought them back. They had like some sugar-free ones that were sweetened with stevia, which I didn't think I was gonna like, but I actually did like it because it didn't taste like stevia. These are accidentally vegan. Yeah, I mean, you guys know how to use chocolate chips. And this is so many, and it's such a good price for this amount. It is four and a half pounds, and this was $10.69 for four and a half pounds. Normally I pay like five bucks for one of the small things of chocolate chips. So this is gonna last us probably all month. The thing I always get is some whole bean coffee. My husband is a huge coffee drinker. I've tried to cut back on it. I drink 
rasa, which is like an herbal coffee now, but every once in a while I'll have some. Um, when we do buy coffee, we try to get organic because there are so many pesticides and herbicides sprayed on it. And we also try to get fair trade coffee so that the farmers are paid fairly in these other countries and not exploited. So this is 100% fair trade, organic, shade grown coffee. I always just opt to spend a little bit more when I can in my budget to just buy more responsible stuff like that. I'm not always perfect, but I try, especially for things that we drink and eat every day because that adds up over time. And this was about $4, four or $5 for a gallon of mango nectar. So we recently stopped buying cans of soda water. There's my kitty again. It's okay, you wanna say hello? What we recently stopped doing is we stopped buying the cans of soda water and we started using our soda stream more. And so what I like to do is just put a little bit of juice in the soda stream so that it's flavored and then it's like a bubbly drink and I always have it with lunch or dinner. All right, I'm trying something new and I decided to get this big ass bag, three pounds of peeled garlic and it was about $10, which is kind of pricey. But what I wanna try to do is every week meal prep my garlic and just have it chopped up ready to go in a mason jar so it makes cooking a lot faster. And the way I do it quickly is just put maybe a cup or two of the garlic in my food processor, whip it up, put it in the mason jar and put it in the fridge. And then the rest of this, so it doesn't go bad, I'm gonna put it in a sealed bag in my freezer so that it doesn't stink up my fridge and it doesn't go bad. <laughs> and also when you pre-chop your garlic and let it sit, it creates these like anti-cancerous compounds and you have to let it sit for at least like 10 minutes before you cook it or else you're just gonna cook out those compounds. So if you pre-chop it and it's already been chopped, when you cook it, those compounds will still be there. So that's another reason why I like to pre-chop my garlic. I love getting pickled beets. This was maybe four bucks, I believe. They're so good, they're so sweet, and they're a rich source of iron. I love to put them on salads. They bring your salad to life. So since I have so many lettuce leaves, I wanted to make sure to get some stuff that encourages me to eat salads. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not very motivated to. What's really good is if you get like a plant-based feta cheese and put it on with like some Kalamata olives. Oh my God, it's so good. And then I always like to have dates on hand. This is the best price I've found. This is $6.80 for two pounds of dates, which is such an amazing price because at Kroger, they have those little packages like this for about $10. So what I like to do with dates is like, I love to put some peanut butter on them and eat them as a snack. Uh, I also love to put them in smoothies. I also love to make date balls, date bars with them. I have recipes on my blog for those. Yeah, so dates are just good to use. It's like a natural sweetener. They're full of potassium, believe it or not. They're full of fiber. These are my favorite frozen vegetables. They're fire roasted and it just adds this amazing flavor to the veggies. These are great to have on hand for a quick, easy dinner or lunch when you just need some vegetables but don't feel like chopping them up. Definitely recommend these, they're so good. And then some other things that I like to get from Costco that I didn't buy today because I didn't need are canned beans. Such a good price. I cook with beans every single day. I don't feel satisfied unless my meal has beans in it. And I usually love getting tofu at Costco, but they were out. So this is the best price I've found for tofu besides at an Asian grocery store like H Mart or something. It basically comes out to I think $1.50 per package. Usually at Kroger, I find tofu for like $1.79 at Trader Joe's tofu was $1.99. So this is the best price that I found for tofu. And the next time I run out of soy sauce, I think I'm gonna buy this big thing of soy sauce from Costco because it's a great price. And soy sauce is a secret weapon for making your plant-based meals a little more savory, have a little more umami. So like in my chili, in my soups, I'll add just like a tablespoon of soy sauce to give it like a more rich flavor. Costco is also a great place to get spices. I love to get my garlic powder there, smoked paprika there, the everything with the bagel seasoning there is really good and you get a lot for it. And I use those spices all the time, but make sure to only get spices that you use regularly because the spices can go bad. I also love getting avocado oil from Costco because you get a lot of it for a pretty good price. I think it's 10 bucks for this big jar here. And I like to cook with avocado oil because it's got a high heat point. I also try to stay stocked up on quinoa and I always try to get flour here as well because we're still on the bread making kick <laughs> and my husband still makes bread 
almost every other day. He eats a ton of bread. And this is it's a 20 pounds of whole wheat flour, non-GMO, and for $10.99. So those are my Costco vegan essentials. I hope that this video helped you out. Leave me a comment below with your favorite thing to buy at Costco. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot, bye.